Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000. Today we're going to find out why this Bissell Pro Heat times two is not spraying water. Okay guys, if you remember in my last video, I got this free, right? And uh, everything seems to work. The brushes turn everything, but it's not spraying water out anywhere. So I'm either suspecting a clog somewhere, or maybe the pump's not working. But we're going to take this thing apart, and we're going to find out why. Now, there's a couple of things you can always check before you take this thing apart. Number one, when you pull this up out, look down inside here right in there and see there's that little rubber grommet there shoot there's a little rubber grommet there make sure that rubber grommets on the tank and not down in there if it's down in here go ahead and uh, just use a you know fair needle nose pliers or, or a straight screwdriver and pop it out and put it back on your tank now I've made a mess but of course make sure your your water your water tanks full this is your solution tank same thing make sure that it is uh, make sure that that red grommets on there because what that does is go in there like that and make sure it's clean uh, that's a couple of things you want to check first now there's also on some of these every time over here on some of these there's a little red cap and inside that cap you take that cap off inside that cap will be a little filter you might want to check that if yours has got that okay so let's alright let's make sure that's on there and let's see if we can get this thing to spray then if not We'll commence to taking this apart and checking everything. Okay, let's turn it on. Noise alert. My recording. Yeah. Let's turn it on and squeeze the handle. <laughs> Nothing. So, let's go ahead and pull this back off. We'll get these out of the way. We know these are okay. Now we've got a bunch of Phillips screws to take out in here. Alright. Now. Up under here is your pump. So, in order to get to that pump, we have to take a bunch of these screws out. But first, let's see if we can get this top off of here. There's a screw here, a screw here, and there's one, two, three in the back. Okay, I'll see if I can get you over there. One there. One there and one there. So I'm um, I'm either thinking there's a clog, whoops, or the pump's bad. Let's go ahead and take these screws out. Oh, and there is one down in the top of here. And yeah, we're back outside. It's hotter than hell, but I wasn't about to do this on Monkey's kitchen floor. She would absolutely kill me. Now, I got to use a screwdriver, guys. I don't have my long bit. I think it's in the truck.
and of course I don't have to tell you this but make sure you have this thing unplugged before you start taking it apart because there are a lot of electronics in here now right here's your pump guys right here and this thing should spin when you pull the trigger and it didn't spin so there should be a filter on here and I think that's it but for, from what I'm seeing there it does not look real dirty like it's clogged or anything so I'm going to plug it in and see if we can't see any water moving out of this thing anywhere. When I'm turning it off and on, this is spinning a little bit. So let's go ahead. I see something funky happening down inside there. But let's go ahead. This has a heater on it. So the heater has passageways in it. So let's go ahead and pull this top off of here. And, uh, We'll get the heater out of it. Let me unplug it first. Alright. Now it's unplugged. We're going to take this off. Now we're going to take these screws out around here. Take that front one off there. You guys see? Because that's got to be moved. Now these are shorter screws, so you want to keep the shorter ones separate from the long one. sure you don't lose that it goes up into here now right down in here is your heater so we're going to take this heater up out of here and we're going to take a look at it okay It's a lot easier if you take all this stuff off, but you gotta remember which hose went where. So, get you down in here. Good look at that heater. Now, there's a lot of these little relays in here. Now I can see, I can see the tubes, that one looks a little dirty, so let's go ahead and take these screws out of here, just be very careful, I may be in your way for just a second, 
Let's go ahead and take these out. Uh oh. Not good when that happens. Try not to, there's a gasket under here. Try not to hurt the gasket in. Let's see if this screwdriver will do any better. Let me get, let me get another screwdriver. There we go. When you get it on there, just give it a quick, a quick little twist. That should do it. It is. All right, cool. Now let's see what we've got under here. Okay, yeah, I see a clog already. <clears throat> or it's looking like a clog. Yeah, see that? That's a clog. Now, there's that little rubber gasket I was telling you about. Try not to hurt that. But I'm guessing... This is my clog. See all that stuff coming out of there? Yeah, it is so clogged up in there, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me... I'll get all this stuff cleaned up. I'm going to get me a smaller screwdriver and a Q-tip... And I'm going to get all this cleaned out. And I'm going to take these hoses off and make sure these, these inlets and outlets aren't clogged. Now once I get that cleaned back up, cleaned up, I'll turn you back on. Let me get you a little closer look at that. All that stuff in there. So that could be, well I'm, I'm going to venture to say it is the clog because the water has to run through this heater to go everywhere else because if you want to run the heater that looks like uh, that's from hard water down here in Florida we've got a lot of that so that way if you want to run the heater the water runs through that and if you don't when you turn the heater on it turns your heating elements on top of this on that's what heats your water up now so it has to run through here before it runs anywhere else so let's go ahead and I'm going to get this all cleaned out. I'm going to use some compressed air and a Q-tip. And then we'll go from there. Alright guys. Now this is the best I could get it with what I have. I didn't want to use any harsh cleaners on it. Like brick clean or anything. The best way to do this would be with uh, uh, vinegar. I'm out of vinegar guys. So. And I also want to tell you these little red grommets here. You see them? There should be five of them. One on each corner and one in the center. Now, I went and lost one. These are little rubber, rubber O-rings. Damn it. And they just keep it from leaking around the screws. So, what I've done... I'll show you here in just a second. This one. Damn it.
what I've done, I lost one of these O-rings. So I made, I cut a little piece of rubber fuel line, and I'm going to make that work. As long as it squeezes around there, we should be okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on and get it set back down in there and everything, and we're going to try it and see if it works. But that's the best I could do with what I had right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put back on, and I cut me a little tiny piece of fuel line where you at there it is. and that'll squish around there and that'll seal it so I'll be right back with you guys alright guys I got you zoomed in because I got the camera a ways back but I pulled this one out so you can see if it squirts and this one out and see if it squirts now I did try it briefly and it seemed like it was okay so let's see what happens Right, I didn't realize I had the heater on that that's some hot water so let's get the rest of it put back on there and we'll try it out okay guys got it all back together you're just gonna want to look through here down in this area here and right here attachment there it goes So there you go um, just put it back together the way you took it just backwards from the way you took it apart and you'll be all right don't don't take off a lot of hoses if you can help it if you do have to take any hoses off take a picture put a number on them or whatever and you'll be okay um, just a bunch of little screws so there it is it's ready to go it needs good cleaning now and uh, I think I can get 10 or 15 bucks out of it so guys thanks for watching appreciate it and uh remember shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now guys bye bye take care